Yes, Tommy Taylor, Fast Mill and Ranch. Uh, just to follow up on a few things that Mr. Kaiser said. Uh, you know, <clears throat> when we were in Austin and, and Commissioner Savelle was at this meeting, I said it's really uncomfortable to be in this position speaking out against, you know, waste control specialist who's a community leader here. I mean, they, they are. But Baskin's part of this community as well. And, you know, can you speak up a little bit louder, sir? Yeah, I'm a little old and uh, <laughs> I have a little harder. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll try to be a little louder. Um, and, you know, Faskin's not a, a company that usually speaks out on anything. We're pretty private. But when this came up, this is something we just could not tolerate. And we remember when, when the promises were being made to the community that if it's just low level waste, this is all it'll ever be. And, uh, and so that we, we took everybody at their word. But fast forward today, and uh, President Obama formed this uh, Blue Ribbon Commission because they couldn't figure out, you know, Yucca Mountain failed after $14 billion expenditure. Harry Reid and President Obama killed that project. And there's no place to take this material. The government committed to taking it in, in, with their Nuclear Waste Policy Act in 1982. And, you know, the thought was they would take these casts from the utilities and take possession of them and put it in a deep geologic repository because President Carter didn't want this reprocessing. And so the government's really failed us. So this Blue Ribbon Commission came up and said, well, let's just find somebody that we can pay to take it, consent-based siding. And uh, I, I don't think it's the right idea. And the reason I don't is, and even the congressmen and women in D.C. say, if this material gets moved to one of these facilities, that's going to be the de facto permanent repository. If this was in fact going to be the permanent repository, you wouldn't build it on a parking lot. You just wouldn't do it. It's an, an insane idea. And, and you know, Mr. Kaiser's talking about how safe it is. And, you know, the, the, the low-level site out there, I think it's grand. I think it's probably world-class facility. But it's, it's not high-level waste. It's low-level waste. And, and the material he's talking about and the material they're going to bring in these casts are hundreds of million times more radioactive. There's no comparison. And so, you know, and you've heard me say before, we, we reached out to somebody that does this. The International Atomic Energy Agency has away from reactor storage. The United States has never done it. And, and their guidebook says they wouldn't recommend putting it where you have exploitable minerals or energy resources. And so we hired one of the guys to come out, and he, he spent over 40 years of his career in nothing but away from reactor storage. And, and we, he's pro-nuclear, and we asked him what, he, what they meant by that statement. I said, it sounded like oil field to me. He goes, we were talking about a small facility, not the Permian Basin. I mean, everybody around the globe knows about the Permian now. I mean, it's our energy security for the United States. So, um, I just, you know, I appreciate you having the forum and letting people talk out. We've talked to a lot of people in the community over the last three years, and we've heard a lot of people say no. But, Judge, evidently you haven't heard that. So I'm glad people are coming out. I, I, think, there's, I think there's instances where people are afraid to speak out because their employer might, might be, you know, thinking, well, we're going to get some kind of financial benefit, so we should be for it. But for this community, I don't think it's right. And I'm, I'm for WCS, how they operate today under the, the health and safety guidelines that the state of Texas put in place and the containerization, I'm all for it. But not with high-level waste. We're not infallible. I mean, you can see that. Hey, and it's in the oil field, too. 
It's in anything mechanical. I mean, things happen that you don't plan on. And uh, you can see it in the nuclear industry. You can see it at Whip. They've already had an accident that's $2 billion. And some of that material's right out there in the federal pit in Andrews County. That's a concern. Uh, it's not permitted to be there. It was sent there under emergency order because it was improperly packaged. So um, I appreciate your consideration in this. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you sir. Can I appreciate it. Yes, you may. Any questions okay. of any of our speakers, please do not hesitate. I was just curious because I'm very aware that especially this administration is going to do whatever they darn well please, no matter what we think. If we should do a resolution saying that we don't want this, would it help if we had, I know that we've got people going out and doing, um, um, getting people to sign different petition. A petition. Would it help if we included a petition with that, with signatures from the local residents? Sure. But we're, we're asking, you know, this, this court is the one that told the NRC that we're for it. But when you start looking around the community, people aren't for it. And I, I think you need to convey that to them. Right. And that was in 2015. I know that um, Jim and I, March 20, 2016, we signed the letter. Okay, I thought it was 15. I saw it, and I thought, but anyway, Jim and I signed that for it, but we were under the impression the community was for it. So that was our not looking into this well enough. And so looking into it better, we're getting more input, and so we can be more informed of what we're doing. So I do apologize for myself, and I think Jim feels the same way, that we had spoke misspoken for our community. Well, and I think, you know, in anything you can do to say no at this point, you know, they may do it anyway. The federal government has preemptive power. Uh, but I think it would be helpful for them to know that. Uh, so and I, I certainly appreciate that. That will help our case. And, and, and just to tell you, Faskin doesn't have a financial stake in this if it comes or it doesn't come. Well, everybody here has a financial stake in it if something goes wrong. If, right. You know, if right. it goes right, great. If it goes wrong, awful on all of us. Well, so. the friends take hats, the engineer from from Hungary that came out and is a, is a worldwide expert, he's been all over the globe. You know, he says the chances of something going wrong are small, but they're not zero. And if it does go wrong, it could be catastrophic. And he said his takeaway message to us was, why, out of all the places in the United States you could store this, single-use areas, this, putting it in the middle of the Permian Basin is the worst idea because you're teeing it up for something bad to happen. And we all know, if you know, just to get it here is going to be 20 years or longer of trains coming through Texas going to this side. I mean, it's 40,000 metric tons. I mean, it's tr tremendous. You know, 3,500, 4,000 gigantic cats coming. So, um, and then and then, how long is it gonna sit there? From the other stuff that I've read, it could be a snowball effect because right now, my understanding is they're not building any more of the nuclear plants because there's no place to put the waste. But once you find out there's a place to put the waste, though, they all of a sudden go, oh great, we get to build more. We don't have the room out there. But I'm back to where, if we're gonna recycle it, recycle it where it is, don't be moving it around. When you move it, that. whether it's here or in the New Mexico side, you have taken the pressure off of Washington, Washington. DC. I get that, I get that, and very much. It, it just seems to be getting worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and, and the other thing we worry about is, you know, like Mr. Kaiser was saying, look at our technology now. Look at the technology to do harm to people now. Mm -hmm. What will it be in 40 years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, or yeah. 75 or 40, because just because yeah. it says temporary for 40 years does not mean. No, you won't be that's first years. license period. There are so many unanswered questions. Yeah. And, and if, if Lehman was here, I'm not speaking for Lehman. But I know what they'll say. Don't worry, it's safe. We've never had a rail accident. Well, you hadn't moved. You know, everything the power plants produce that are producing today through decommissioning 
is over 500 million pounds of spent fuel rods. That's huge. Our country needs nuclear energy. We need that diversification. But we need to solve this problem, and this is not solving it. I can't believe that the, the Blue Ribbon Committee, this was their best work, their best idea to, to move it somewhere else. It's, it's crazy. It needs to be in the geologic repository. And that's what we need to focus on. And if it's safe sitting there in those canisters where it's sitting at now, right. they can continue sitting there until they do. Well, it's surrounded by people that know what it is and how to handle it. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's just nothing out here that says it's going to be handled properly. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you very much.